Greetings, Jindra and Nox. How are the both of you? Ah, uh, live status update. Just as I was starting stream, there was a hell of a rolling thunderclap outside, and it is dark and raining. It's not a thunderstorm, just... Oof. Oof. Chilling on the couch? It's not a good place to be. Actually. <laughs> dark and stormy night. I think it's a dark night. I don't know if it's a stormy night. Definitely going to be a rainy night. Fine by me. So says I. Right. Suichi. Hmm. Right on. So where we left off was basically Oda. There we go. Uh, he's waiting for us with the van. And we're going to go someplace we're all too familiar with. Next Sunday or Tuesday, I'll be staying up for way too long. Uh, why is that, Nox? No oh, appetite stim. Yay, the item to actively hurt yourself so you can eat more food. Ooh, light suspension. And no, I'm... I'm serious. I acknowledge your existence. I'll be right back. You going across the mountain with your mom to pick up your grandma? Hell yeah. Though, so, that's... It's <laughs> just awkwardly standing there. <laughs> Fucking hilarious. He's going to be pissed when I get back. Uh, Oi. This is just a plain old shiitake mushroom. Got a death wish, punk? N no, of course not. That's Kitajima the shroomer. Hurry up and hand over the shrooms. We want to get this train rolling. You screw us over, we'll have to teach you a lesson. Look, like I said before. I only sell regular mushrooms. Leaving at 6 a.m. at night to go to bed like two or three hours before. Why are you me with my job? Uh. What? You expect us to believe you're here in the middle of Kamurocho selling nothing but table mushrooms? Uh. Looks like he's got himself in a mess there. Not that I'm surprised. Oi. Hey. Kiryu-san? Huh? What's your beef? This guy really is just a regular mushroom seller. If you want the other kind of mushroom, better try elsewhere. Oi. And who asked you your opinion, huh? Got some nerve button in like that. I'm gonna regret disrespecting the boss. We just wanna trip out on some shrooms. I'm gonna be real sorry if you get in our way. Because your old job is 3 p.m. to midnight. I can't leave that time for some reason. <laughs> I feel that. That's so. If it's a trip you want, you've got a one-way ticket to Pound Town with your name on it. Cocky fucker! You're going down! The other guy ran behind me, didn't he? No, no. Kitajima just ran the fuck away. Well, your funeral. Down you go! Reminder, never killed a man. <laughs> this guy's a monster! Let's regroup, boss! Get what's coming to you! Thanks for helping me out again, kitty son. That was pretty dicey. Hmm. Yeah, these people still haven't got the message that I'm just selling regular mushrooms. Mm. You couldn't have picked a worse place to sell them. Well, you have a point. I don't think that's the only problem. You don't? Pretty much every day, someone comes here with the wrong idea. 
There's got to be some other reason. The reason he gets mistaken for an illicit shroom dealer. I'm... I'm gonna be honest. It's the fucking vibe he's giving off. I don't know about you, but like somebody selling more legit stuff isn't... Isn't dressed in a tracksuit, man. Maybe you just give off the wrong vibe. Vibe? Uh. Yeah. The general vibe people get from you. You do look like the type to be selling hallucinogens. What? Why not try talking in a louder, livelier voice? If you're always mumbling to yourself, how will anyone find out how great your mushrooms are? Mm. But I can't change overnight. <laughs> Guys, do I tell them? Do I tell them about the word can't? Well, first you need to practice. Practice your sales pitch in a bright, confident voice. Make people come to you. I've got good mushrooms. I've got good mushrooms. Like that? Not even close! Aww. You need to put more effort into it. Project your voice! A smile is important, too. <laughs> See? <laughs> can you smile? It's like, oh my god, he can smile! Okay, okay. The finest mushrooms fresh today. My mushrooms are truly superb. <laughs> Much better. You still have ways to go, but you're on the right track. That smile looks natural. And it's a big improvement over your first attempt. You really think so? I can't tell the difference. Uh. I do. I bet fewer people will mistake you for a shady mushroom dealer now. <laughs> I hope so. Thank you, kitty son. You might want to change your laugh, too. But how can you change the laugh? Oh! Kiryu-san! Are you in the market for some marvelous mushrooms? Uh, I'll take a shiitake. Thanks for stopping by! <laughs> your customer service skills are really improving. <laughs> Come again! Remember, for magnificent mushrooms, Kirijima's your man! Uh. Yeah. I got it. Oh my god. His resolution changed right before our eyes. Kitajima, are you okay? Oh my god. Oh, and it's back. <laughs> uh, can I just, like, abuse this? <laughs> Abs fucking Lily. Always, pleasure a sir <laughs> Always a pleasure to serve you. I better go stock up on more mushrooms. Hope to see you again, Kiryu-san. Remember, for magnificent mushrooms, Kirijima's your man. <laughs> He's speaking up a lot better now. Do 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 do. Let's go uh, aid my little empire of real estate. Is there any other like sub sub quests I could do? Other than the one at the real estate office. AKA none I can do immediately. Because I require 100 million yen for transfer purposes to Majima. Which I intend to fulfill. Uh oh. Nope. 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 <laughs> that last guy stalled. Oh man, they found the money. Game, are you okay? Seem to be struggling there for a minute. I can also bet like most of my fortune on the catfight club. I don't I don't know what to do with that place, to be honest. I feel like it's almost I was about to say too much for Twitch, but then again I played Center and Kagura, and if that's not too much for Twitch, I don't know what fucking is. They'll probably put up a good fight. They're strong? Bullshit. Yeah, yeah, we've seen this dialogue before. Back to kick some ass. Yeah, show the air! Ow, ow. Kitty, you please. And 
finisher. What the fuck? Oh, my, my heat gauge actually has to be higher than that. I swear, there's a way to, like, pick him up. There we go. Victory! Yeah. Strong my ass. What are the odds? Jackpot. Puns! You guys get it? Not sure Brawler can scoop from the ground. That's actually a fair point. It might just be... Um, Beast that can do that. Which would suck, but you know. Nah, nothing. Beast and Legend. Right. All right, let's get that 58 million. I mean, 66 million. Too much goddamn money. Nugget! And now Nugget is going to be the best manager. I fucking love that. The, I love the fact that you can just set up a chicken to do collections for you. How does that even work? Do people just, like, see this chicken come up to their door and they're like... Oh! Oh, I, I guess you're the collections agent? Um, hang on. Places yen on the ground. There you go. Okay, if it's, if it's true... But the rate of increase is based on... Look, if you tell people to pay the chicken when it comes by, what are you gonna, what are they gonna say? I guess I'll pay the chicken. <laughs> Maybe it's really true that, like, the amount of yen you invest into this does not influence the meter at all. That'd be kind of sad. <sighs> I, figured, I figured the money would have. Because otherwise, what's the point? Other than it's just insanely expensive. Okay, we got 84 million. How in the seven hells am I going to get Another 20 mil. Hmm. Hmm. Or whatever she has X in. The one thing that she's got an X in is um, love, romance. So she does not allow you to invest into like Love hotels and the like, or massage parlors, which, that's fair, to be fair. Head to the pier. I mean, like, I, I suppose that's correct. She is, like, the highest star value, but I have to pay 28 million yen every time to use her. I'm not making enough of a profit, really, to justify that. You know who it is, you dumbo. Anyway, collection's time. Uh. I have another job for you to do. You up for it? Bet your ass I am. I'll tell you who's up next. The target's known as Demoto the Runaway. 
He has this nasty tendency to hop on a boat or a plane when his debtors call. He's been on the run from collectors for 20 years now. Miss hmm. Tatsu, why does it have to be me? This one's got my name written all over it. He'd see me coming from a mile away and be halfway to some remote jungle by the time I got there. It's got to be you. Uh, didn't I miss the not Michael Jackson side story? Not Michael Jackson? No, you haven't missed that. I haven't even encountered it yet. Uh. I get it. Remember, this is life and death for him, so don't go getting yourself killed. You ready for this? Uh. Yeah, I'm ready. Alright, go handle some business then. Oi. You're a demoter of the runaway, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, what's it to you? Better have a damn good reason for bothering me. I came on behalf of Miss Tatsu. I'm here to get back the money you owe. Yeah. On her behalf? She got a cold or something? Yeah. None of your business. Hurry up and hand over the money. Uh -huh. Damn it, that bitch must have a sixth sense. Just when I had the mu muscle all ready to take care of her. Oh, no. Ah, well. Hey! Come teach this puffed up amateur not to stick his nose where it don't belong. Let's go. I see you off to the side. You want to fuck with me? Ow. There we go. Hey, buddy. Ow. Ow. There we go. Four million yen. That was a flash of lightning that was probably pretty damn close, actually. I got the money back. Good to see you back in one piece. Well done. Thanks, Zeus. Pre I appreciate the praise. That flighty bastard have anything tucked in his panties for me? Oh. There is something fantastic. When it is... A woman insulting a man doing that. Uh. Yeah. He hired some muscle to rough you up, but I took them out. So that was his plan? Huh. Here, I was thinking he had a bull with my name on it. If I'd known that, I would have gone and wiped the floor with him myself. Nani. A bullet? Hey, that sounds more dangerous than you let on. What? You don't have the balls to stand up to someone packing heat? Don't tell me you're a crybaby. To be fair, I think we have stood up to somebody packing heat before. Uh, you're pretty ballsy, too. I think you can pull that kind of shit. Maybe I'll ask for your help again if something comes up. You know where to find me. You got 4,830,000 yen as you collected as a reward. You learned the Iron Fortitude skill. I think that's improved super armor? Guard weapon charge. Iron Fortitude boosts your defense while performing a resist guard. So basically, while we're defense guarding, or resist guarding, uh, we have even higher defense. Now I gotta head back. I should... I want to start looking into buying uh, Pleasure King area properties, but... Um... Also, do all my best to save that money to give to Majima so that we can continue that little thing. That way I'm not stuck behind, like, bananigans when it comes to, like, set amounts. 
Because I'm almost positive after the 100 million, it's going to be like 250 million and then 500 million. I don't know if we'll ever hit a billion. But that's like a worst case scenario. We got, oh god, just 88 million. And I doubt that was enough time for my businesses to uh, finish. Level 1 collection speed is fucking crazy. I can also check to see if Dolce Kamiya read out our third and final postcard. I gotta give him the moment. As always, we kick off the show with shoutouts to our faithful listeners by reading off their postcards. Come on, Dolce, read the postcard from Judgment Kazi. Teenager Forever Son! Bleh! Did we get enough sub stories yet? Quest for Ara Q3. I'll write about the help. I'll write about helping that kid who had his Ara Q3 taken. Let's see. Oi. <laughs> and go collecting. Hundred fifty five million. So you're good there. Now, yeah, Leisure King, take a break. Uh, Sachiko, go for it, girl. Uh, the rest of the rest of your like tenure there is just gonna cause problems. So, go for it, Gakuta Takeshita. Staff is perfect here. <laughs> I love this chicken so much. <laughs> Just so dumb. But Kikuchi, where's all your like problem solving ability? Damn, dude. Well, that's already max level, and we don't have any other things. It's actually the Electronic King's area. Considering how much money I have, I will see if there is a property I can purchase for the amount of money I have. Uh, you're good. You keep things the same. You're on the tail end. Li Long can get to a four at some point, but he starts at negative two, which is his fucking problem. For like three, three times even. It's like the worst. I really actually want to avoid spending that much, so. Mock Bowl rank up. Damn, it doubled his profits. This is an eerie. Nah. I'll just invest the 400,000 base. There are two investments you can do later after the 100 million yen one. Yeah, that's what I figured. Um, because then, like, at that point, the the friendship gauge would be maxed out for that person. So, I would imagine after that, you could send back and forth custom amounts of yen with, with, uh, with a bottom limit. Oh, Jesus, there's actually a severe thunderstorm warning. Fun. Custom and without fee, which is... Oh, fan fucking fantastic, if you ask me. Though, the fee is like their commission rate, rather. I guess you could put it. Because they'll just... They don't tack on extra. They just take off whatever you invest. Like, this time, I think they're taking off 
So they're walking away with 10 million yen. You don't see me. That yen flying behind me is stuck on a string. Oh, right. That's West Park. That... All of that blue is now a hideout. I don't know what you're talking about. Take some fucking money. The next two are one billion and ten... You have got to be fucking kidding me. By the time I get one billion, I'll be most of the way through my goddamn tree. And by the time I get ten billion, I'm probably gonna be done with my skill tree on both characters. Apparently, the common folk go to conveyor belt sushi bars. Sounds like something they use to force feed cattle. But never mind that. Welcome to the investment fund. How can we help you today? Well, with the three vanilla skill trees. Okay, fair. I imagine the legendary one for both characters is fucking ridiculous. I want to invest some money. This time, your contribution will be 100 million yen. Are you ready to invest? Sure. Okay, that concludes our transaction. m -san will get this money minus our 10% commission. Let's look forward to seeing what he does with it. For your next investment, I'm willing to drop our fee to 5%. Be a fool not to take me up on that. Yeah, but can I... Did you think you can set... reset it? 999 times and it goes up. Wait, reset? What do you mean by that? And also, our mushroom buddy is having some troubles again. Oh. Oh, dear. These are just my take mushrooms. What are you trying to pull? I don't sell any illicit mushrooms here. That's Kitajima the Shroomer. Say what? You gotta be kidding. Hand over the good mushrooms, quick. If you want to stay in one piece, you better give us the real stuff before we get annoyed. But like I said, I only sell regular mushrooms. Huh? You were gonna believe you'd set up shop in the middle of Kamurocho selling plain old mushrooms? Ah. Looks like I'm gonna get dragged into this mess again. Wait, they're not from the Dojima family, are they? Oh, who fucking cares? Oi. Reset the tree, but keep the bonuses you've gained. Oh, that sounds nuts. It sounds like you make that overpowered real fucking quick. Hey. Kiryu-san, who the fuck are you? This guy's just a regular mushroom seller. If you're looking for the other kind of mushroom, try somewhere else. Where do you get off talking to us like that? Get out of the way, man. Uh? You get out of the way. You're obstructing his business. Uh? That does it. Let's smash this asshole. Did he just... Kid you, buddy. That is a one-handed knife game. I will have you know. Fucking drop it. Drop it. That was my gut. That was my gut.
There we go. Ugh. Those chicken jets are so fucking tough. Let's get the hell out of here, I guess, sir. You're gonna get it. Doubtful. Kiryu-san, thanks for saving me again. You were in a bit of a bind. I get the feeling there are still too many people who don't realize I'm just a regular mushroom seller. Mm. Yeah. Gotten a lot friendlier, but this spot's a terrible place to sell mushrooms. Mm. Well, that may be true, but I'm sure there's more room for improvement. Nani. Room for improvement? I don't want to blame it all on the location. If there are still things I can try, I'm going to stick with it. Let's see. What else can Kitajima do to stop people from thinking he sells hallucinogenic mushrooms? A mascot, a theme song, image training. I don't know what the fuck they mean by image training here. I don't think it'll help. I sure as shit don't think a mascot's gonna do jack. I say image training. No, day, no idea what it means, though. Same. How about doing some image training? Image training? Uh. Yeah. You just picture things in bed before you sleep. You can picture normal customers coming the next day. This is fucking worthless. What have we done? And that actually works? Uh, no, probably not. I didn't think so. Image training probably applies more to athletes. There must be something else you can try, though. So. <laughs> that is not going to help on the slightest. That's not what I thought it meant. <laughs> didn't, didn't mean what I thought it meant either. A theme song? How about you come up with a theme song? A theme song? A jingle that makes your product more memorable. You hear them on TV and radio. Well, sure. Those catchy tunes get stuck in my head all the time. How will they put my theme song out there? I don't have the money for advertising. Just sing it here all day long. What? I can't do that! You said you'd be willing to try anything, right? At least see how it goes. Uh, but I don't have a song to sing. You need something light and catchy to get rid of your shady image. How about this? Okay, now give it a try. Uh -huh. Here goes. Miraculous mushrooms, marvelous mushrooms. Inoki shiitake porchi. <laughs> For magnificent mushrooms, your man is Kitajima. <laughs> that was awful. Not bad at all. Lyrics work well, if I do say so myself. I'm, I'm looking at my chat, because I know I didn't sing that well. You think? Uh. Yeah. Nobody would mistake you for a hallucinogenic mushroom dealer singing that song. <sighs> Who the fuck would be singing in an alley like a lunatic? Unless they were high off their fucking ass. Better than the mascot. I mean, yeah, mushrooms are, um... Phallic. Not to mention it. I think you're right. Okay, I'll give the singing a try. Thanks, Kiryu-san. <laughs> Good luck. I'm not singing it again. Looks like you're getting used to dealing with customers. <laughs> you know it. 
For magnificent mushrooms, Kitajima's your man. Uh. Yeah, I got it. And another another shiitake, if you will. <laughs> Thanks for buying mushrooms. I better go back and stock up on more mushrooms. Hope you stop by again, Kiryu san. Remember, for magnificent mushrooms, Kitajima is your man. <laughs> Seems he's taking a shine to that theme song. Heaven for Fent. Am I like trying to actually improve his outward appearance so he doesn't look quite as shady? Would be better. Agreed. Goddamn agreed. I'm actually going to conclude that because I think it leads to getting another manager and then we'll like, well, I'll pick up the manager later. But then, then I shall do the thing. Uh, oh, for God. Out of my way. <laughs> Pardon me. Is this a... There's a restaurant here. Oh yeah! This is like where we started at one point. Do the ting, do the ting. Do, do the what ting? What's the ting I should do? Not quite what I thought was going to happen, but eh, fair. Ow. 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 Might have a dungeon thing stuck in your head. I didn't feel confident about that one. There we go. Bye, Oba! I like a light. I have several questions about this shirt. Can I show you every card I got? <laughs> nope. Uh... Then that would be everybody then, Miho Tono. Uh... Thinking about it. I hate to do this. Oh, wait. <laughs> You're funny, game. Oh, this is also part of the Pleasure Kings district, so of course it's going to be super expensive. The logical, like, the logical progression of things is you go electronics, pleasure, um... Electronics, pleasure, and then gambling, and then I guess the fifth one unlocks from there. And of course, of course it's in trouble. Oh. I hate you, but you have a fucking substory with you. There's one phrase I will never forget from old WoW. What would that be? Oi. Hey. Oh, hey there. We keep running into each other here. No, we don't. This is like literally our second time. You really spend all your time at places like this, huh? <laughs> Guilty as charged. Stop it. Uh, okay. Oh, oh, from the monastery. Well, I don't really have one. Hmm. <laughs> <sighs> 
Nope. You knocked that off. You're telling me you really saw it? You saw her naked? <laughs> Got you curious? I didn't say that. I just need to see if how it's po- I just don't see how it's possible. You just have to train your mind. You looked at a photo so long you burned holes in it. We would do the same with anything else. Let's, um... Let's, let's bonk him so fucking hard that, uh, he stops being a pervert. Hmm. All right, break's over. Like time I would have gazed upon some girls in the flesh. Ah, not want to tell you how to spend your time. Enjoy the strip club, I guess. Leave the man alone. There's a monster, I can't remember the, the other three. It's the same, like, dungeon series. Whether or not it was monastery, they're all near monastery at least. Drop the taser. Drop it! Drop it! I don't have any heat, otherwise I could have done something cool. <laughs> Damn, sledgehammer, rock, and a mallet? Yeesh. Not saying he doesn't deserve it, though. Because he totally deserves it. One area, four dungeons. Exactly. There we go. Yeah. How long have I traveled down that alley, I wonder? Probably not often. Oh. oh, getting colder. Aha! Oh, oh she cute! Moving on. Very expensive toughness easy, but I'll take it. Right, you punks. Get the fuck out of my area. Destroyed. Man, it's unfortunate that this shrine is back here in an alley with all this graffiti and shit. So we're done with the business thing. I'm like, oh, really? We only have five CP? I would like to get bottomless stomach. Because there's a lot of CP you can get just for eating all of the menu items in, like, certain stores and stuff. And so, to say I'm interested in getting that so I can eat all the things is an understatement. But either way, we're, we're good to, like, go to the next leg of Kiryu's story. I think there's a telephone card back here. Never hurts to check. Also, you'd think the cops would still kind of be patrolling around this area. 
Where the hell are they, anyway? I don't look anything like the man you were talking about. Wait. What am I gonna do? I don't want anything to do with the criminal underworld, but I finally got a promotion to manage this place all on my own. Oh! Excuse me, sir! Are you talking to me? Yes! I'm sorry to spring this on you, but are you for hire? I need someone discreet. Let me show you to my place. Sorry, but I'm not interested in any hanky-panky with you. Kid you, don't jump to fucking conclusions, man. Eh? What? Oh, no! That's not what I meant. I swear. I need protection. You can provide it, no? Uh? Protection or not, I am not doing it with you. Wait, what? Oh, I get it. Sorry, but I'm not with the Yakuza. <laughs> Are you fucking himbo? Sometimes he's about some really wise shit, and then other times you were as dumb as a brick. Eh? You're not? I'm very sorry, I had the wrong idea. You had this intimidating aura, see? So I just assumed. Anyway, why do you need protection? I'm the manager of this restaurant. We're about to add another line of business on the side, and I thought I'd better arrange protection with the local, um, boss? Usually business negotiate... Usually business negotiate with that kind of... That with one of the local families. There's no one boss of Kamurocho who'd protect you. And with all the land getting bought up in this area, almost all the tenants are gone. No Yakuza family want to offer you protection. Uh... Oh. I'm in bigger trouble than I realized. I know. You seem to know a lot about these things, though. Would you mind giving me some advice? I can't really discuss it in public. Can we step inside the restaurant? Sure. All right. Fine. Thank you so much. Please, come this way. I won't say no to free food. This is Dragon and Tiger's Kamurocha Branch. And the owner runs the original restaurant in Sotenbori, Osaka. Sotenbori, huh? The owner there has devoted most of his time and energy in a secondary line of business, and now he's instructing me to follow suit. What's the business? Uh... I trust you can keep a secret. He deals in weapons and other gear of that sort. Mm. Guns, is that it? That's a dangerous trade. Eh. He's a weapons enthusiast. Dealing in weapons and other combat gear from all around the world has been a dream of his. I said enthusiast, but his wife would call him a maniac. He has a network of agents and sends his weapons and parts, and he makes his own versions as well. Yeah, <laughs> oh, that guy. Yep. That's a man who's serious about his hobbies. His wife must be quite a character to put up with all that. It seems he met an interesting customer recently, and the encounter breathed new life into his secret trade. He's now single-mindedly pursuing a new goal, which is to provide that unusual customer with the finest equipment he can find or make. That's why he's now telling me to sell weapons and gear here as well. Get feedback from Kamurocho buyers but on usability. Mm. That's a pretty tall order. Eh. I feel like we've met him. I do too. But Kiryu hasn't, so I'm going to keep my mouth shut. I trained him to become a chef at his restaurant in Sotenbori, so I was aware of his side business. That doesn't mean I'm comfortable selling weapons myself. He taught me everything I know, so I do anything for him. But this... I'm afraid of the police and even more afraid of the Yakuza coming after me. Is it just weapons and gear? Any other illegal stuff? No, nothing else. He would also repair worn down or broken weapons, too. Also, when the Sotenbori branch gets something new, the owner will make replicas so we can offer it in here in Kamurocho, too. Uh. He must have some real skills. A staff or something, sure, but guns, too? Eh. It's what he spends almost all his time on, after all. But despite his skills, the sales are meager because he's terribly picky about new customers. You should follow his example here. One blabbermouth and you'll be in big trouble. You're right. I don't in that case, would you be our first customer? Nani. Are you serious? Dead serious! You seem tight-lipped. And having a regular customer like you would come in handy in case we do run into trouble with the Yakuza. I don't much fancy being the go-to go -to guy for Yakuza problems. I need, might need that sort of equipment. And it's not like there's a lot of other shops like this. Uh. Fine. It's a deal. I'll come by when I need something. My name's Kiryu. <laughs> it's a pleasure to make your acquaintance, Kiryu-san. You ought to be delighted when I tell him the news. You can now buy weapons. Show me what you got. Lumber and an iron pipe. Dagger and a butterfly knife. Wooden katana, Sakura Storm, and Sunburst. 
Iron hammer. Cleaving pole. Oh, I could buy the zap gun. I could buy brass knuckles. Binding? Oh. Oh. It's all the equipment. Including everything we've come across. Does that mean I could get Goto Majima a belly warmer? Because that's a really good defensive item. Barmate! Well, I was expecting a side story, but, uh, that's all right. Kitajima! Don't know what you're on about. Oh, neat. What? <laughs> he spoke in English. What is this? It's Bruno Shimiji. Uh... Bruno, what? That's not the mushroom we want. Sorry. You may have gotten the wrong idea, but we only sell regular mushrooms here. Huh? Give me shrooms! Uh... Hmm. That's Kitajima the Shroomer. I came a long way here... Because I heard you had quality shrooms. What gives? Well, our mushrooms are of the finest quality, but they're just mushrooms with no special properties. Huh? It's no use. He doesn't understand. What am I going to do? Oh, I know. Nope. I'm not. You, you will not. You will not make me sing this. You're dead. Ah! Looks like I'm gonna get dragged into this mess again. Oi. Hey! Oh, Kiryu-san! You! How do we get this guy to cough up the good stuff? He's just a regular mushroom seller. If you want the other kind of mushroom, try somewhere else. I have liter literally repeated this two more times a day. I will also repeat giving you a knuckle sandwich if you'd like me to. Too late for talk. Can't back down now. Too bad. You're obstructing his business, so I'm going to have to ask you to leave before I remove you myself. <laughs> You'll regret this. Kill him! Oh, those are... He's got a gun! Now I got a gun! <laughs> it's out of ammo. <laughs> Note to self, don't give me a gun. <laughs> At least not in Yakuza. Let's go for a ride! Ooh. Wiped out! Unbelievable! Thanks for helping me again, Kiryu-san! Looks like they thought you were selling hallucinogenic mushrooms again, huh? Yeah, guess the theme song didn't really help. What's it going to take? I just want people to know I have the tastiest mushrooms in Japan. What? Wait, the tastiest mushrooms in Japan? Hey, 
uh, let me try. Huh? Uh, oh, sure. Ah. Mm. Buono! Delicious! <laughs> what is this mushroom? Uh, just one of my mushrooms. Kitajima's mushrooms. It tastes fantastic! How do you grow them? Uh, thank you. I have my own special technique. A mushroom reminded me of my old days in Na Naples. I used to be a chef there, many years ago. You were a chef? I was well known in Naples back then. I worked every day trying to make the best pasta in all of Europe. I perfected the ideal al dente pasta. Huh? Uh, the problem was the sauce. I could never find mushrooms worthy of my pasta. I visited mushroom sellers every day, searching for a mushroom to match my pasta. None were good enough. I never found the right mushroom. My restaurant was losing money, and my girl left me. I grew to hate pasta. I gave up and took over the family business. The Mafia. I see... But I finally found it! The ideal mushroom to go with my pasta! I should be able to make the finest pasta in Europe now! Kitajima, would you come back to Italy with me? <laughs> we will take Europe by storm with the best mushroom pasta ever! Hmm? What? Th this is all so sudden! Hmm. But if I went to Europe with you, I could get lots of people to try my mushrooms. Here you saw I... I really don't know what to think. But don't worry about me. <laughs> you need to listen to what your heart tells you. Hey. Mm. Yeah. Okay. I'll go with you. If it means I can show more people how good my mushrooms are. <laughs> Grazie. Thank you, Kitajima. Still, I'm a little worried. I think my mushrooms are the best in Japan. I don't know if people will like them overseas. <laughs> huh. Show some confidence. Remember what you always say? Huh? Oh, yeah. For magnificent mushrooms, Kitajima's your man! I wish you luck, Kitajima. I wish you luck. What? Be right back. After that heartfelt moment with Kitajima the Shroomer, our best bud, who sells the tastiest mushrooms in all of Japan? All right. No! Yes, I will. Sorry, doggy. I didn't mean it. I didn't even see you. Oh, Snapple! <laughs> anyway, moving on. Hi. Shachou,今あるところでお前を待っている。もう準備できてるなら車に乗ってくれ。yeah, I'm ready. Yeah. Done. Yes. Should I be like in the back seat or something? Imantokotskerateriwashtene I agree. Plus, for all I know, I threw enough money around. <laughs> yeah, because I ain't interested right now. そういうわけじゃない。道島組が神室長中に名刺からせているかぎり、あんたはどこに隠れたっていずれは見つかっちまう。だから社長は道島組の動きを抑えるために手を打ってるとこだ。どういうことだ。ああ。
俺たちもそこに向かってるだからどこなんだ言わなくてもお前にはそろそろ分かる Anybody got any ideas where we're going? Two sixteen PM. Coco Masaka. Ah, Tojo Kai Hombu. None no matter the other. Sajo Aima Tojo Kai no top puny on Tanako to Kaki up there. Those Magumi no Moki or Sitskirina. So no Sarani Ueno Gogodo in Nashitskirishka night. I mean, Mate. Yeah, but this is like. Yeah, exactly. Tajibana Manta Nani can guide in that. How about Oro's thinking? Such almost on a grave, I got the real. Sort of the more. Koso Teno eats that the Ariola. He's not wrong. Sagini or the grave. Shacho no irbashon yon nice hare hasa. You left the Dojima family and kept your trap shut about, like, Tachibana real estate. They all started hunting you, and this is where you're gonna call it crazy? <sighs> just, just, just wait like 16 years, Kiryu. Things are gonna get a lot worse. Alright, fine. Not gonna lie, I'm a little nervous, guys. We are walking into the belly of the beast. Oh God, there is a lot of tension. Nihara Takashi Nihara, acting second chairman of the Tojo clan. Uh, あの町にどんな人間が来ても受け入れる。それを許しているからこそ、
行ってみろ道島組に桐生さんから手を引くよう登場会本家から働きかけてください Damn, just out with it already. 新原さんがご存知かどうか。当時、マグミは。キリュウさんを消そうとしています。当時、マモバカじゃない。そいつにも消されるだけの理由があるんだろう。当時、マグミがキリュウさんを狙っているのは。私を捕まえるためです。私は。殻の一つを手に入れるのに。必要な情報を持っています。殻の一つぼか。なるほど。道島はあの土地をよその人間に取られるわけ。I feel like this is gonna go south real quickly。だけど、当然その上がりは本家にも入る。俺にあんたを助けてやる理由はない。話は変わりますが、道島組は。登場会で稼ぎ頭だとか本家の中にさえ道島組の力に対抗できるだけの人間はいないそうですねあなたも含めて Are you suggesting what I think you're suggesting? 道島は本家に莫大な上がりを収めているできた子分ではあるなそして登場会の跡目に今一番近い人間そう遠くない将来。道島総兵が登場会の三代目になる可能性は高い。それがどうしたこのまま道島組が空の一つを手にすれば、さらに莫大な金と力を得ます。登場会に、絶対的な独裁者が現れることになるでしょう。そうなった人間は、目上の者にも敬意を払わなくなるものです。つまり、あなたは会長代行まで上り詰めながらその老後は劇的に惨めなものになる。Did he just like roll a net 20 on a persuasion check? ミーハラさん、ドージマにカラノヒトツボを手に入れさせてはいけません。一幹部が本家をしのぐ力を持てば、登場会は何もかもが大きく変わってしまう。ドージマンの開発計画は上がりのでかいしのぎだ。登場会本家にもやつから相応の金が納められる。Oh, yes, the greater good of the clan ideal. How long do you think that'll last? 目先の話にとらわれてるようでは、トップは務まりませんよ。大工。てめえ。口の聞き方を知らねえようだな。Hello? お持ちした手土産が届いたようです。入れてやれ。Tension was so thick, I could cut it with a knife, I'm sure. What's in the box? It's a big old box. That's a fuckload of yen. Oh, I need. Oh, <laughs> これをキリュウさんの命の代金としてお納めください。Look, eventually I'll just sneeze and my business will make that much. これは前金です。I was expecting something more late than music. ドージマグミが動きが止まりましたらさらに5億。カムロ町でのうちの上がりの3割を。And a tithe! 今回本家に納めさせていただきます。Holy fuck! Yeah, that's 
本当の友人を作るとなるとそうはいきません差し迫った事情を言えば私が殻の一つを手に入れるにはどうしても桐生さんの力が必要です Basically, you were ensuring a long term victory for him with a short term payment now, and with your security, you will knock down the Dojima family a peg or two to ensure his continued act of chairmanship. もしここで新原さんにお力添えいただければこの先も堂島さんを本家に忠実な一幹部にとどめておくことができるかもしれません私の個人的な印象では堂島さんはそのあたりが Man, if high up, the actual red of it is how high it is, right? あんたは確かにヤクザのまた開かせんのがうまい Okay, lewd? Well, all right then. Interesting way to word it. Kichona Ojikamo, Arigato Zaymashta Nidae Metaiko. Why do I get this sinking feeling that this is not as simple as we've made it so far? Kiryu Nani Kazamanga. お前くらいの年の頃あいつがどんな極道だったか知っているか ?Ruthless? いえ、詳しくは。一言でいや、一気当選だ。腕といい、度胸といい、俺から見ても、惚れ惚れするような男気を持つ本物の男だった。もしあの頃に戻って、やつを十億で買えるなら、俺は迷わず払う。Think I get what he's putting down. 本当に十億の価値があるのか、見させてもらう。Yeah, yeah, I'm picking up what he's putting down. Like, what if what happens if Dojima Clan decides the stakes in the empty lot are worth more than a billion? I don't think they get a say in that anymore. If they defy the Tojo Clan, they have everyone else under the Tojo Clan that will come breathing down their necks, being all like, Look, you're defying the boss's orders. Do you want to keep this shit up? We can replace you. Kind of thing. So it's not a matter of is is this worth a billion yen? It's the gesture, the offering, as well as the potential security for Tojo Clan. And now it's a matter of Dojima family going, okay, do we defy the Tojo Clan? Do we defy our masters? Because if we defy our masters, are we gonna get out of it alive? Yeah, acting boss's orders. このままおとなしく行かせてもらえるわけじゃなさそうだ。交渉がまとまった後にこう出られるとは予想外でした。これだからヤクザは面白い。裏切られただけじゃないですか。違うな。No。じゃなんで？ビジネスの話はまとまってもけじめは取れってことなんでしょう。この場を切り抜けさえすれば。向こうも約束を果たしてくれるはずですそういうことだこの場を切り抜けるって無茶だここは登場界の本丸だぞ
I suppose you're right, Jindra. I, I suppose it would depend on how um Dojima negotiates with the other families. Both around Kamurocho and uh in local principalities. Right, uh so let's fight our way out. Dungeon time, head to the exit! Let's just crash on through! Go! <laughs> just this idea. <laughs> like, think of it from, like, the perspective up the top of the stairs. Just watching everyone fight and like the crowd keeps parting from one white suited guy just crashing through all of them Kind of bet too bad the heat action can only hit two guys. This one can. I know there's a later one that'll hit more than two. But for now it works. Right. We're down to enough. Looks like Odo and Tachibana made it out okay. It's too dangerous to go back up. Gotta find those two. Ah, uh, then we go this way. We just broke the whole wall! I'm fine. See how many guys I took down? ハッ、アンフェアアッズ。何よりです。<笑> Guys, we can we can run and talk. Oh, good. Finish him up! <laughs> I was hoping he was still alive, honestly. Let's go then.
This is gonna be bloody. Combo takedown, double takedown. <laughs> like I said, unfair odds for them. Oh, I'm not able to use the sword. Oh no, what the fuck? Oh, cute, you have a chair. <laughs> Kitty was never killed, man! Never killed a man! <laughs> They're fine! Nobody died. That was stupid. Why'd you throw it like that, dummy? Oh, badass. You think I'd lose? Never killed a man. I'm, uh... There we go. Look, if you're not going to play fair, then neither will I! Reminds me of Code Geass, the guy who takes about 20 rifles full of bullets at point blank range and lives. <laughs> right? <laughs> Working on it. Got another stamina and royal. We're good. What's up, boys? Block, I guess. Yeah. 
No, <laughs> that's a proper response. I, st I love that. I, lo I love how they have like their own different team attacks. Like Tachibana rolls off Kiryu's back. Oda like comes around the back and Roundhound kick <laughs> Roundhound. Roundhouse kicks a motherfucker. Like it's all very good. Another one? Really? Get a load of this! Here! Let me take out your men! He mad. And he about to be knocked out. Look at how much it costs to max everything out and for Kitty alone. It's a hair of 30 trillion yen. Jesus. There we go, I win. That's a lot of, that's a lot of money. Relatively speaking. Also, that's a poor joke considering Tachibana. I'm kidding. He didn't mean it like that. Almost all of it's on his legendary style. Jesus. Kiryu Kazuma ka. Ano Kazuma ga. Regretting accepting that deal? Kiryu no ken da ga na. Honke ga cha cha yure te kia gatta. Dojima gumi ya Kiryu Kazuma ni tedashi muyou to na. And? レンジュも、うちに追い詰められちゃ、本家に泣き入れるくらいしかありませんからね。全部予想できた動きです。クゼとアワの2はできなかった。俺にはさらに混戦。立花が切るをどう動かすかもわかります。They're all fighting for suprem
もうクゼとアワノに遠慮する気はねえってことかシルサワカラノヒトツボは俺のこの手で差し出しますよ。親父。The plot thickens. So, why are we at the pier? It's a matter of not a one year to smooth that. He's a shiver in a cue so good as Tamania, you Christian night or much must say. What a sure Karadaga, you ain't this. True. I did a cake, go to wait in your body, my lady. Kitty's not wrong. Tada, she knew one of the reader to the kid is here. No, and hey. なんで俺なんかのために十億も出したんだおまけに登場会本家に借りまで作っちまったあんたは金と力を手に入れそれで登場会に迫りたいと言ってたなそのために空の一つが必要だとだが本当の目的は他にあるんじゃねえのかだとしたらなんであんたはそんな体を張ってまで殻の一つを狙うあの土地には Big questions. 俺の知らない何か他の価値があるのかそれについては企業秘密というわけにはいきませんかね社員にも言えない企業秘密かあんたについていく社員は命がいくつあっても足りねえな He's got a sense of humor. あなたのような人が私には必要なんです風間さんもそれをよく分かっていたからこそ桐生さんを私につけてくれただが殻の一粒についちゃまだ何も進んでねえこれからどうする俺は何をすればいいそれなんですが昨晩ようやく空の一つもの所有者を抑えましたその人物は今大阪の蒼天堀にいます Say what? 蒼天堀ええですがすぐにこちらから出向くわけにはいきません我々以外にもその人物を狙う組織が蒼天堀にいますあんたの他に所有者の居所を突き止めたやつらかおそらくは渋沢組の人間です渋沢 Well fuck me He is ahead of the game あいつか問題はその渋沢以外にもあの近江連合まで動いているらしいということです。近江連合。やつらも空の一つも。ええ。その近江連合もどれだけの規模で動いているかわかりません。今の蒼天堀は。私たちにとって、神室町以上に危険です。そう、全然、全然、全然、全然、全然、全然、全然、全然、全然、全然、全然、全然、全然、全然、全然、全然、全然、全然、全然、全然、全然、全然、全オーダーも言ってたビジネスにリスクはつきものだってなそれをあいつに教えてやったのはあんたじゃなかったのかあんたの腎臓はアジア街を長く離れるわけにいかねえだが俺は逃げ回るだけなのはもうごめんだ待たされるのも性に合わねえああ、That's bold! 一人ででも、蒼天堀に行く。からの一つもの持ち主は、カムロ町に連れてくればいいんだな。ええ、ですが、俺も行きますよ。キリュウの言う通りです、社長。状況の見えない蒼天堀だからこそ、俺たちが直接動くべきなんじゃありませんか
Also, another problem, touch bound is clear to you work more with a whole lot every other party in the game. You're not wrong, he did. Considering what he's been running from so far, this is a drop in the bucket. Alright, comedian. That sly fucking grin as he was talking at the end there. キリュウさん。総天堀に向かう前に準備を整えておいてください。ええ。あんたら。アジア外に戻ります。話は通しておきますから。準備ができたら陳さんのお店に来てもらえますか。私とおださんはそこでキリュウさんを待ちます。道島
Then what are you doing back in Kamurocho? Well, that's the thing. Kirijima has such a head for business that I've run out of things to do at work. I asked Kirijima for some time off and came back here. Back to where it all started. Kamurocho. Uh, he's your boss now? But I'm starting to get bored with playing tourist in Kamurocho myself. I'm looking for excitement. Isn't there anything exciting going on? I can't really think of anything. Unless... Would you be interested in joining the security staff in my company? Security? Ah, that sounds like fun. Just what I need to get back to my killer instinct after making pasta all the time. Grazie! I accept your offer. I shall join your firm. It's our first five-star employee. Costs a million yen. <laughs> I haven't tasted the blood of my enemies in a long while. I can't wait. You know I'm not asking you for anything like that, right? Uh, anyway, welcome aboard. Right. Let's... Check our blocking. So, up and down the street, up to there, through the alleyways around the shrine and everything, is the Electronics King's area. Let's take a peek, see what kind of businesses we can pick ourselves up with our 100 million yen. Tenpo Sushi. Oh, we also got the C Classic for that one. Oh, right! Fuck! That... That's a thing! Oh, that's a thing! Okay, so, like, some places in Japan have this interesting setup. God, I... This is, like, my little nerdy thing. Where you, like, buy a, a food voucher outside the restaurant, go in and present it, and then they'll make the food for the voucher. I think it's a fascinating idea. It's like... It's like ordering... Ordering fast food without necessarily ordering fast food. <laughs> Beijing Chinese, Chinese eatery. They're famous for their extra crispy chow mein. What should I do? Uh, buy it the fuck up. That's what you should do. Alright, we got one-fifth of the Electronic King area. Shokichi camera. This place sells all kinds of home electronics. What should I do? 62 million. The unfortunate thing is the paltry sum they start giving you. Amusement game you. This place is crawling with gamers. 59,200,000. Did I? I feel like I'm going crazy. I keep thinking I see the things say look, but there's nothing to look at. Oh, let me go solve the Gambling King area's problem. You don't see me! Every time I come here, it's a strong fight. But are they really that strong? Nope! Fuck you! Hard fight my ass. Nope! 
gods, it's such a thickening crap. Not quite where I wanted to go with that. Not quite where I wanted to go with that. I mean, I guess if I really wanted to, I could also do the silly cat fight arena. I, I really don't think I'd make too much money doing that. Honestly, I think I'd lose more money than anything. I was going to say, this is a Gambling King area's property. Yeah, 200, 224 million yen. I don't think I can afford that. Sorry, dude. Check out our earnings. Oh, and the radio. There it is. Today's featured postcard is from our listener, Judgment Kazikun. <gasps> Hello, Dolce Kamiya san. Hello. I love your show, regular listener. Thank you. The other day, I met a young school boy who had his RQ3 game stolen from him. Oh no! That game's really popular, I hear. It was a high schooler who took the younger kid's game, but then the high schooler had it taken by a punk, who then got it stolen by a Yakuza. <laughs> wow! Turned out that the Yakuza was the father of the little boy who had the game stolen originally. I couldn't believe it. Whoa, now there's a twist ending. P.S. Do you play games, Dolce Kamiya-san? Judgment Kazikun, are you making up stories? What are the chances? But if it's true, that's a sad state of affairs where people who steal video games would steal video games. Did the father give it back to him? I hope everything worked out. As for me, I only play one game. The game of love! Whoa! Oh, that was the third time we featured a postcard from Judgment Kazikun. Congratulations! I finally made it. Thanks, Dolce Kamiya. Hello, Squirrel. How is you? How are the doggos, too, since they're watching? As a special reward to celebrate Judgment Kazikun's achievement, I have a little surprise for him. Hmm? A surprise? Marina? Were we expecting anybody? <laughs> hey, Marina. <laughs> well, that's creepy. Yes, it is. Someone's at the door. Will you get it, please? I'm in the middle of something here. <laughs> hmm? Is she not there? Ugh. Fine. Whoever this is has the absolute worst timing. Hello! How's it going? Look, I'm in the middle of something. Come back some other time. Oh, now hold on a second. Please. Are you by any chance, Kazikun? Is that any way to address someone you've never met? Wait! I know that voice! You're... Hi. Indeed I am! I'm your host, Dolce Kamiya! D -d 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 Dolce Kamiya? As in Dolce de Postcards? <laughs> None other! This is what I meant when I had a surprise for you, Judgment Kazikun. It... It really is him. Judgment Kazikun, here's your prize for getting your postcards on the air three times. Congratulations! You got a pair of Hercules gloves. Dolce Kamiya san. Um, may I shake your hand? Hi. Of course! Judgment Kazakun, thank you for always writing in. I love those stories of yours. Oh. See you next time. Oh, 
Okay, I should be going. Goodbye, and see you next time. I'll just let... I'll let Cosmos speak for himself. Marina, where the fuck were you? Hercules gloves. Opponents have a hard time escaping warrior's grip. Perfect. Yeah, there's no more reason to write any more postcards, though. No more reason to listen to the radio, either. Got a feeling, though. God damn it. How's staff doing? Staff's looking a-okay. Get out of the driver's seat, man. Nugget. You're up. That moment when you make Nugget your MVP. <laughs> yeah, it's almost getting us a million. At least we're getting a small return on investment now. Oops. Is that that sub story done? Oops, oops, oops! Don't mind me, just terribly drunk. Uh, I am a nerd. Give me the arcade! We have one quarter of the Electronics King's turf. Don't quite have enough for that one. Right, they hang out around the. Dude, you're not even looking the right, the right way. Pardon me. Defy us, and it's game over. Perfect. You got blood on my suit. I'll bill you for the dry cleaner. Change some CP specifically for a bottomless stomach. So now I can just eat wherever, whenever, and however. The game is not kidding when they say Cosmo's stomach is now bottomless. Kitajima, did you visit Japan like real quick to stuff that Maitake in there? Oh, those are residences. I don't think... Well, no, we could manage a residence. Either way, we're here to play Outrun. Oh. Oh, Kiryu-san. What's up? I finally got a new high score. That should be a challenge to beat. Nice work. What score did you get? Get this! I got a total of... 1,500,000 points. Wow, that's a pretty good score. We're lying about being good at these games. Huh? Hey, you believe me? 
Sorry. Huh. Anyway, while you're here, how about a challenge? Challenge? Hi. You beat my high score the next time you play, I'll give you a present. Hmm. That sounds interesting. Great! Are you ready for the challenge? Do I want to try this now? Bet your ass I do! Okay, I'll give it a shot. I knew you couldn't resist. Okay, let's see if you can beat my score then. Uno momento, por favor. That's, that's mine. There we go. Why are there nine notifications? Jiminy. Oh. Oh. That's why. Okay, cool. That's why there's a whole bunch of notifications. There we go. It's going to be real quiet there for a minute, but I'm only preparing for OutRun. Scores you get when competing against Luka don't count towards completion list or rankings. Which sucks. So if you get, like, a really good run, maybe kill it early. Get ready. Here we go. So we're looking to beat 1.5 million points. Which is not that difficult to beat, actually. Oh, I'm terribly hard. What's the catch? There is no catch. If I want to, I could technically, like, just crash and burn at this point. Let my timer expire. I'm going to use this as a bit of a practice run. He says and me fucking eat shit. There's a decent reason I'm doing practice now, because um, keep in mind, we're currently moving up on in like the Electronic Kings turf. As you might imagine, he may also have a challenge for us later. And unfortunately, his is actually a might bit challenging. Time out. At least it's not the Gambling Kings challenge. I don't even want to know. Ah! Since it doesn't matter. Wow! That's an amazing score! I do okay when I go all out. Just okay. I can't believe you just blew past the score I worked so hard for. Well, I came out on top this time, but if you keep at it, I think you can do even better. You really think so? All right. I'll brush up on my racing skills and try to get a score you can't match. Uh. Yeah. Let's go another round. Hi. You're on. Oh, here's the present I promised you. Take it. I am eating spicy ramen, and this one is kicking my ass. Ha! Like, good news about the Gambling King Challenge, it's reasonably fair. The bad news, you have zero influence. I... I guess that's a true gamble, isn't it? Huh. You got an alertness hood. We'll have a rematch, then. I'll give it all I've got! Uh. Sure. Let's see what you can do. 
You have to play OutRun one more time, and the next time you stop by into the Sega uh, Entertainment Center, she'll challenge you one more time with a promise that if you beat her challenge, she'll give you something special. But well, let's save the game. It's been a couple hours. <laughs> Monokuma? What? What? Why was Monokuma brought up? I also have nothing to ease the spice. That's not great. Right. Let's. That's my Twitter. Let's find somebody to raid real quick. Josija is playing. Oh, I get it. Can, can I? <laughs> I want to see if I can do a Monokuma real quick. Give it everything. Nope. Nope. That was awful. I'm gonna stop right there. I can get the pitch. I'm not able to match everything else. <laughs> Excuse me? What do you mean you heard Pro ZD? I didn't even bring up his name. The high pitch sound like something of his. I don't know what that would be. I'm more familiar with his skits than I am with, like, any of his other bits of work. Uh, what's the sneaky ninja thing? Gaijin Goomba's just starting the stream. I'm kind of curious to see what this is about. It's Mario plus Mark of the Ninja. Is the stream's title? <laughs> have you found all 300 eggs? No, I have not found all 300 pine cones. Leave me alone. Yeah, let's, let's raid Goomba. The Gaijin one. Yuki Goomba's also streaming. She's streaming Luigi's Mansion. But I'm more curious about this sneaky ninja game. So let's go. All right, reminder, Thursday... Up in the air, mostly for school, so that way I have a day if I need it to study. Uh, when we get to that day and I feel confident about school, we'll stream. If not, sorry. But Saturday, I'll keep on as best I can. Uh, oh, that reminds me, actually. I might... I might stream on Friday. Because that's the 17th, and that's my birthday. Yeah, I'll... I'll consider streaming on Friday then. Right on. Or no, that's next week, isn't it? Yeah, it's next week. Next week on the 17th, I should say. I'll consider streaming. Not the 10th, the 17th. I'm a goof. Don't ignore me. This Thursday, up in the air. Uh, Next Thursday, we'll see. Next Friday, I'll consider streaming. Anyway, thank you guys for sticking around to the end of the stream. I found bread. Congrats. Uh, please remember that you're always welcome here at Mana's Potion, and uh, I'll see you next time.